According to Tidio.com, roughly 2 billion people shop online. However, with the holiday season upon us, it's important to ensure that consumers are shopping online safely. And now with the popularity of social media, there's also additional opportunities for fraudsters on social media uh, services like TikTok and Facebook and others. And uh, with me is Tyler Moffat, the Senior Security Analyst at WebRoot, to uh, give us some tips and explain a little bit about just how big of a problem this is. So Tyler, welcome. Uh, great to talk to you today. Now, how does shopping online open up the risk of identity and data theft? Thanks for having me on, Jane. Yeah, that's a good question. So um, first and foremost is phishing, for sure. It's It grows year over year. Um, it, it does not stop and is by far the biggest threat, not only to individual consumers, but also businesses. Um, and the most common, at least going around right now, this holiday season, you may have seen it already coming in through text or email, is a phishing template for you've missed a package or we tried to, to deliver and failed a package. And go ahead and click here in this link, which will take you to a page that tries to collect as much information as possible that you'll give it essentially. And really, you know, when you're purchasing online, pretty much every single one of these websites is going to have a portal for your orders where you can see where your items are, where they've been shipped, the tracking link to find out when they should arrive. And they already have your shipping info. They already have your payment info. Uh, so you shouldn't be giving any of that. So don't fall for it for sure. Interesting. I remember that was around last year too. So it must've mm -hmm. worked or they wouldn't bring it back. Right. Um, what about, uh, so what are tips that you would say to people to help them um, be able to protect themselves? Yeah, so using reputable security solutions like, like WebRoot, we'll be able to block those phishing web pages from even showing up. Don't even give you a chance to enter the info and just block the page for you. But beyond that, as far as tips everybody can use right now, is I recommend using credit cards for your online purchases for sure, all the payment processors, because if there ever is a fraudulent charge and they try and steal your credit card info, you can dispute that charge so much easier when it comes to credit cards. Um, they'll remove it off your account before you ever have to pay. But when it comes to debit cards, it's an entirely different story where they've already removed the money from your account. And then you sort of have to have a battle with your bank to try and get that money refunded. And in some cases, you won't get that money refunded at all. And, and you've just lost out. So if you have to use a debit card, I highly recommend third-party payment processors like PayPal or Google Pay, Apple Pay. So that way you have some protection in place against uh, identity fraud and theft. Yeah. Well, and I try to check my balances and just and the activity on my card a lot, especially this time of year. So if there's anything weird, you can attack it really quickly. I think that helps almost immediately before there's more damage done. What are some other ways that people can protect their devices, their identity? Yes, yeah, beyond your security solutions like we, like we offer, uh, I highly recommend minimizing what you share online on social media. We share way too much info publicly, whether it's uh, you found a good deal and you want to tell everybody about it or even uh, charity. You have some you know, causes that, that you support and get behind and you want to share and tell everybody. I highly recommend you don't share publicly because this information is being collected en masse by criminals using, you know, it's not you specifically they're targeting, they're, they're doing it for everybody. And they're using massive scale machine learning and artificial intelligence modules to collect all this info. So they know what's big right now, what's in, and it helps them craft these, these phishing emails to make sure that they're going to be successful. And that, you know, when they're targeting certain audiences that, that they're going to click on it and it's going to work. Yeah. And it seems like a lot of these social media platforms are trying to implement an e-commerce element to this as well. So if you see a cool looking dress or something, you just click on there and purchase it. What should people know about purchasing items on social media? It's a good point to bring up. It's been growing quite a bit recently. Uh, these online social media marketplaces, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, a lot of the times they get you with some, you know, clickbait 30 minute or 30, 30 second video, uh, something that looks really cool with an even better price. And then you'll find that what comes in the mail is a far cry from what you saw in the video. Or in some cases, you won't have anything at all shipped to you and you're just scammed out of that money. So make sure to do your research just like you would at any other website where you, you look at reviews and, and pictures of that, what people have. So to make sure that, you know, other people have actually ordered from this website, received an item, and you know what you're getting yourself into. 
Yeah. So where are some good sources for people to go for information about how to protect themselves? Yeah, our, our website at webroot.com, where you can learn about all of our products and services, protecting all your devices. And we actually just recently partnered with Allstate. So we also have identity protection as well. So if any, any information about you or an individual in your household were to get compromised and sold on the dark web, which is where the criminals buy all this information to use for phishing and another identity theft attacks, you can go ahead and put a stop to it and take back control of your account. Oh, interesting. Tyler, thank you so much for this very important information. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it.